Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. Okay, so we will be continuing with the dynamic programming problems. Before I begin today's video, I would like to talk about this ebook. As many of uh, us are having a, like a placement season, internships, and all, we want to find out data structures and algorithms is most important topic. Always asked in interview coding round everywhere. So I have uh, like a help for you, a helping guide. This is actually an ebook. This ebook is written by a software engineer who has worked in many multinational companies. He has put all his experience in this book and it has 90 plus DS algo chapters as well as it has HR questions. So if you reach final round HR round, so maybe it will help you over there. And you can see over here, everything is neatly written, documented. Um, it starts off with the time complexity, space complexity, introduction and sorting algorithms, everything in detail, searching algorithms, binary search is most important. Then stacks, queues, and linked list, trees, graphs, recursion, backtracking, and different algorithms are given. So you can click on any link. For example, if I click on this link, that is binary tree, you can see here that the code is written here very neatly. It is uh, written as well as in many places, there are like yeah, pic pictorial representation for better understanding. So you don't have to scatter your mind for different places. Everything is available in one book only. It is available for a very affordable price. The link is in the description of this video. So please do check it out and don't ask me for free. You will not get it for free. It is available for a very affordable price. Please do purchase. The person who has made it has put a lot of hard work. So don't ask for free. Okay, so today's problem is Largest area rectangular sub matrix with equal number of ones and zeros. See in yesterday's video, uh, or you can say that in the previous part, if you go to my channel playlist, the latest video that I've uploaded till today, it is largest rectangular sub matrix whose sum is zero. So first you solve this problem. If you have not yet solved that problem, you solve this one. If you solve this, then solving this becomes very, very easy. And this is actually quite an important problem. There is only a small trick over here, but main algorithm I have explained here. So go to my channel playlist and check for the la uh, latest uh, video on dynamic programming. Okay, and watch this video. And in that video also, I have told you what is the prerequisite. So there also I have mentioned, okay. So please watch that completely and then come. So if you have watched that, now how to solve this problem? See here, it was rectangular sub matrix whose sum is zero. So basically what we have to do, we have to convert this 2D matrix into a 1D array and then apply the algorithm to find out the largest sub array having some zero. If you have watched the video, you will understand. Fine, here what we will do, what is the trick here? The trick is, See, they are saying equal ones. What is it? Equal ones and zeros, right? Whenever in the question it is given like this, find sub array equal ones and zeros, find sub matrix equal ones and zeros, whatever, equal ones and zeros, and also something like equal odd even numbers, anything of this form that is. Only two states are there on zero or one odd or even like this only when two states are there, how to solve the problem. There is a trick. What trick is it? Instead of zero, you replace zero with minus one. So here, when it says equal number of ones and zeros, na, transform this problem into ones and minus one. How will that help us? Now, when you change zero to minus one, what will happen is you then find out how uh, the largest sub matrix you find out the largest sub matrix with some zero that will correspond to the same answer as the largest sub matrix with equal number of ones and zeros see uh, how can i take example here so if I take example like 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 
zero one one zero and zero one one one. Okay, so I believe that uh, this is going to be my answer. I believe. Maybe I have done some mistake. Maybe the mother answer. Just assume that this is going to be my answer matrix. This is going to be my answer. Okay. Over here, if I replace each and every zero with minus one, what happens? Minus one, minus one, 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 minus one, one, minus one, one. Now tell me what is the sum of all elements in this matrix? Zero. So after replacing all the zeros with minus one, if I find out the matrix having some zero, and out of all those matrices, largest one. So largest sub matrix having some zero. If I find out that will correspond to the same answer as largest sub matrix having equal ones and zeros. So that is why I asked you to first solve this problem, largest rectangular sub matrix with some zero. In the previous video, I have discussed the coding part. Also, I have explained each code line by line. This problem, equal number of ones and zeros, just change the zeros in the matrix to minus one. Then your algorithm is simple. Why do you have to remember two different codes? If you remember this code easily, see. If you remember this code, then you can easily do this one. So that is why. And that's how even I try to remember. Otherwise, it becomes very difficult. Each and every problem, if you want to remember different algorithms, it becomes pointless after some time, right? You need to know how to connect with different problems so that you can remember faster. So just you know, take a temporary matrix. Just take a temporary matrix. Ah, uh, you will have input matrix. So input matrix, let it be as it is. Temporary matrix. What you do? You equate all the values in the input matrix to the temporary matrix. Fine. You equate all those values in the temporary matrix, and in temporary matrix, wherever zero is there, change all zeros to minus one. Okay, and all the operations will be done on temporary matrix. Basically, here also, what the answer can be like? Uh, find the area. Find area of largest uh, rectangle. Find find area of a largest rectangle, and or it can be like print the matrix. Correct. Print the matrix. Print the answer matrix, the sub matrix. So either of these two, fine. So the same code, nothing is different except that C. Here we have input matrix. Okay, of size R cross C, R rows C columns. So. What is the addition to this existing code? Instead of all the operations happening on our on uh, that is input matrix, take a temporary other matrix and all the operations you do on that. So first change zeros to minus one. So I think I will just show that coding part because everything else I have explained in this video, where I have discussed this problem. Now I have already explained everything in this video in detail. So please watch that. In this problem I and mean, in this video, I will just show the what is the extra change. And like in yesterday's video, for example, see if I run this code, it will give me what is the area that is the largest sub rectangle area, as well as the coordinates: starting column, ending column, starting row, ending row. If you need matrix, you need four points: starting rows, ending row, starting column, ending column, to print the entire matrix. Then we are printing it. So like this only, I will do for this problem, and uh, I'll show you. So try it by yourself first. Okay, guys. So what I will be doing is, uh, let me make a temporary matrix, right? So I guess I can write here only temporary matrix, and this also is having the same definition. As our input matrix, and first of all, I will equate all the elements of uh, the input matrix to temporary matrix. 
actually you know what i will just change here only so like i'll say that if uh, the element is equal to 1 if the matrix element is equal to 1 then in my temporary matrix also i will make it equal to 1 only if it is 0 then i will make it equal to minus 1 okay and nothing uh, special change here only here so instead of matrix it will be temporary matrix here i guess this will be fine so now if i have to find uh, so i'll erase this so guys i have made that change in the code that uh, i made a temporary matrix where every element is either 1 or minus 1 if in the original input matrix the element is 0 then uh, in temporary matrix it is going to be minus 1 and all the operations are performed on temporary matrix and uh, as you can see here i am getting the answer as this one so the largest sub matrix area is 8 and it is this so it can either be this or it can be you know first two columns only the first two columns uh like 0 0 0 1 1 1 first two columns are uh, all the rows like that it that can also be the case you know i just found out a mistake in my yesterday's code in yesterday's code the mistake why that i was doing was in this if expression here i was just checking if the length of my sub array see in this function in this function it is going to find out a maximum length of a sub array having some zero as well as it is going to find out ending index so it is going to return return a pair max length as well as ending index right but actually we are concerned about largest area sub matrix so there, there is a possibility that the length can be less but area can be more that means for example uh like in this problem only like i'll take this example only see see for example consider the sub sub matrix like this just think that this is the sub matrix okay 0 0 1 1 here length will be equal to 4 and breadth will be equal to 1 and area will be uh equal to 4 into 1 4 correct and consider this sub matrix here 0 0 wait yeah consider this sub matrix now what was it Zero 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 one and uh, one 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 zero. See, consider this sub matrix now. What is the length of this? length of this sub matrix is equal to 2 but what is the breadth breadth is equal to 4 and what is the area 2 into 4 equal to 8 see here in the first sub matrix length is more than the second sub matrix but area is less so in the previous code in yesterday's code i was just checking if the length i was just checking for the length is less or greater than our already uh, recorded length and based on the length only i was finding right actually i found a loophole that see there is a possibility that you know although the length is less the breadth can be more and the breadth can compensate for that and the area can be greater also there will be another case for example if uh, suppose wait i'll just uh, yeah 
suppose the matrix is something like this like in our example it was like this only na what was our answer here 0011 0111 करेक्ट सपोज नाउ दिस इज माई मैट्रिक्स सपोज कंसिडर ओनली दिस ओके सपोज दिस इज माई मैट्रिक्स हियर यू कैन सी दैट देर आर इक्वल नंबर ऑफ जीरो एंड लेंथ ऑफ दिस इज फोर वेर एज ब्रेड इज इक्वल टू टू एंड हेन्स एरिया विल बिकम वॉट फोर इंटू टू एट सी एट ओवर हियर इट इज ग्रेटर देन फोर but in yesterday's code what i was doing in this if condition if you concentrate here how was this part here in this if condition i will show you how this part was actually for that wait uh, one second i'll show you what i made a correction here so i'll copy this fine and over here uh wait okay yeah just a second wait yeah it was like this basically what is p dot first p dot first see from this uh, function sub sum we are getting a pair it is gi giving us max length of the sub array having uh, some zero and ending index so p dot first is the max length so i was just checking if length is less than the max length if it is less than that then we have got a better maximum length but this is incomplete because i have proved it now that see there can be a rectangle having same length but breadth can be higher as well as there can be a rectangle having lesser length but breadth can be more and area see we are focused on area it is considered what largest area rectangular sub matrix we are concerned about largest area so that is why here we have to make the change where the change is uh see here here is the change so this will be correct so what am i doing here final length into ending row minus starting row plus 1 basically whatever my old area was so what is this if condition it is saying that old area is it less than new area and what is area equal to area is equal to length into breadth over here i have uh, stored my length as final length and breadth will be number of rows ending row minus starting row plus 1 so this is my old area new area will be see p dot first into what is p dot first p dot first is giving me maximum length my current iteration whatever i have found now maximum length of that sub array as well as j minus i plus 1 j minus i plus 1 will be the breadth of the current matrix that i am looking for so this is one correction that i have done so please do that i'll put in the description only in bold that the, there is a correction in previous code so when you watch this video just make a correction over there everything is the same the logic is the same only one correction is here so as you can see now see here we get the answer 00110110 this is our answer so now the code is finally complete i will put the solution in the description don't worry and uh, that's all for this video i i'm sorry that there was a mistake in the previous video please do correct it and share it with your friends also whoever has already watched it might think that this is only correct so please tell me in the comments for other kind of such mistakes maybe i made i'll correct it later okay thank you for watching this please hit the like button and share it with your friends subscribe to the channel if you have not yet it will really motivate me until the next video take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye